This video is for my structure and my performance team. Uh, each week I'm going to try to do a video uh, that will help your parents or parents if you're watching help you remember what we worked on in practice and help them work on in practice. So this week uh, we are working on posture. They should all know the posture positions which is feet or hips width apart. Uh, make sure that their knees aren't locked but they just relax their knees and they bend from their hips and their arms hang straight down. The big thing that we're going to concentrate on this week is their grip position. So when they take a good grip, that left hand, for right-handed golfers of course, it's going to be opposite for left-handers, that V that they create with their hand should go to their right shoulder. Okay, so you're going to see a lot of kids who grip it in a weak position. That makes it hard for them to hit it very far. So we want to make sure it's a strong position. Even if it's turned a little bit too much, that's okay. And then with their right hand, they're just going to cover it up and you're going to see there's still a V that goes right up my forearm. As far as the interlock, overlap, all that different kind of stuff, it's okay for kids to grip it with 10 fingers starting off uh, just because their hands are smaller so it's not easy for them to interlock and overlap. So if they 10 finger it, that's fine. We just can't have them have a split grip. The hands have to be together. they got to feel like they're one on the club because eventually when we go into interlock and overlap and get them into one of those positions, we don't want to have to make them change from here to here to all different type of stuff. So when you go to the range with them or if you work on it with the backyard whatever, make sure they get into the right posture positions and they grip the golf club correctly.